Welcome to the new episode of BCD Tech. In this episode, I will show you the performance review of Google Nexus 5. I am Dr. BC and you are watching BCD Tech. This is my Google Nexus 5 recently purchased from Google India. For my previous video on this phone, please click on the link flashing on your screen. Now in this video, I will show you the performance of this phone. Before that, I will show you the Android version that is pre-installed on this device. Just go to setting and go to about device. You will find that a Android 4.4 is installed on this Google Nexus 5. If you tap this, you will find that K. K represent the KitKat version of this Android. If you tap this, you will find out this Android 4.4 that is a KitKat version. Now, without wasting our time, I am quickly going to this benchmark. First of all, I will show you the N2 benchmark on this phone. If you see our previous score, it, you will find this phone get 17,299 score on this N2 benchmark. Test again. Now this benchmark is now completed. Now you will find out how much the score it is get. Oh, it is shocking again 19,055 only. It is quite far away from this Note 2 Galaxy S4 LG G2 itself. I am very surprised to see this low score on this high smartphone, high end phone. It is maybe due to this KitKat version because there is this unto benchmark is not showing the exact result on this Nexus 5. Now I will quickly move to this quadrant standard. Now I will run the full benchmark. Now it is completed. You will surprise to see 5322 score which is quite low for this high end devices but it is quite high as compared to this X, uh, HTC One X. So in my thinking this KitKat is not giving its full performance on this older version of this standard. Now I will show you the multi touch tester. Earlier test show the 10 finger touch display. Three, four, five. Five touch now again five to ten. Now this display supported ten finger touch, so totally stored ten touch point on this display. Now I will show you the specification of this phone by this CPUZ application. You will find a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 2.27 gigahertz processor that is MSM 8974. Architecture is carried 400. The maximum CPU speed is 2.77 GHz. It has quad core. The GPU vendor is Qualcomm with Adreno 330. If you see the system information, it is Nexus 5 LG E phone. The screen resolution is 1080 into 1776 and the screen density is 480 dpi. Total RAM installed is 1855 MB. Our internal storage is 26.76 GB. The power source is lithium ion battery and the sensor you will find accelerometer, magnetometer, gyroscope, proximity and light sensor, barometer, rotational sensor, this is your proximity, barometer, gravitational, accelerometer, rotational sensor and then orientation sensor. These are couple of sensor that is installed on this device. Okay. Now I will show you the Nano Mark 2. This benchmark is for GPU performance. Now just quickly run this benchmark on Nexus 5. The overall score is 58.9 frame per second. It is quite low than our previous result. You can see that the GPU vendor is Qualcomm with Adreno 330. 
GPU. I will close. This last test give me a 59.2 frame per second, but in this test I will got only 58.9 frame per second. Now this completed the performance review of this phone. Now I will quickly go through two games on this phone that is Temple Run 2 and Subway Surfer. First of all, I will run this Temple Run 2. This game is from Amagi Studio. Now let's see how this game performs in this Nexus 5. Now if you see the viewing angle of this phone, you will find no difficulty without any of side of this phone. The viewing angle is perfect and it is very good in playing this game. Now I will quickly go through this game. You will find no problem while tilting. Oh, I have crashed. So, Temple Run 2 runs without any problem on this device. The touch response is very good. The LCD performance is very good. Now, I will close all of this background application so that I can move toward the next game on this device that is Survey Surf. That is survey surf. Okay, the stack to play this survey surf. If you see the color response of this IPS display, you will find very crispy color. The color reproduction is very good. Now let's see the gameplay.
oh i am caught now if you see the performance of this phone you will find no problem with playing this low end games on this phone the color reproduction the viewing angle of this phone is very good this completed the performance review of google nexus 5 if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel the subscription link is shown on your screen for more video on this phone keep watching bcd tech thank you